Unit 4 Our Customs and Traditions Page 38 Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and read Today we're going to learn about customs and traditions. Do you think they're the same? I think they're different, but it's hard to explain how. In my opinion, a custom is something that has become an accepted way of doing things, and a tradition is something we do that is special and is passed down through the generations. Yes, spot on. Give me an example of a custom. My family has this custom of eating dinner at 7pm sharp. Really? Yes, we have to be at the dinner table on time. That's interesting. How about a tradition, Fum? We have a family tradition of visiting the pagoda on the first day of every lunar month. You're kidding! No, no, we've followed this tradition for generations. You've mentioned family, but what about social customs and traditions, Nick? Well, in the UK, there are lots of customs for table manners. For example, we have to use a knife and fork at dinner. Then. There's a British tradition of having afternoon tea at 4 p.m. Sounds lovely. Now, for homework, you should find information about a custom or tradition. You're doing many presentations next week. Unit 4 Page 40 A Closer Look 1 Pronunciation Activity 5 Complete the words under the pictures with spr or str. Then listen and repeat. 1. Straw 2. Street Three Spring Four Spray Five Astronaut Six Frustrated Seven Espresso Eight Newsprint. Unit 4. Page 40. A Closer Look 1. Pronunciation. Activity 6. Listen and circle the words with spr and underline the words with str then say the sentences 1 in my family all the traditions of our ancestors are strictly followed 2 the custom of saying hello to strangers has spread through our community. 3. In our district, it's the custom for residents to sweep the streets on Saturday mornings. 4. That film strip really highlighted our customs and traditions. 5. Parents usually want their offsprings to follow the family traditions. Unit 4 Page 45 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 
Listen to Mai's presentation and complete the table with no more than three words from the recording. Today I'm going to tell you about the Sue dance, a traditional dance of the Thai ethnic group in Vietnam. Thai people have followed this spiritual tradition for generations. The Sue dance expresses people's work in life and wishes for a happy and wealthy life. It is performed in both public and private gatherings, such as celebrations. Festivals or family reunions. The swear dance has more than thirty forms, based on the first six ancient forms. The most popular form is the swear vum, or circle dance, because it expresses social unity. People, young or old alike, join hands to make a circle around the fire and dance to the music. Besides the circle dance, there are dances with conical hats, paper fans, or scarves. Old people say they shouldn't break with this tradition, because it reflects Thai culture and lifestyle. As a Thai folk song goes, without the swear dance, the rice won't grow and people won't get married. Unit four. Page forty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again and tick true or false. Today I'm going to tell you about the Sue dance, a traditional dance of the Thai ethnic group in Vietnam. Thai people have followed this spiritual tradition for generations. The Sue dance expresses people's work in life and wishes for a happy and wealthy life. It is performed in both public and private gatherings, such as celebrations. Festivals or family reunions. The swear dance has more than thirty forms, based on the first six ancient forms. The most popular form is the swear vum, or circle dance, because it expresses social unity. People, young or old alike, join hands to make a circle around the fire and dance to the music. Besides the circle dance, there are dances with conical hats, paper fans, or scarves. Old people say they shouldn't break with this tradition, because it reflects Thai culture and lifestyle. As a Thai folk song goes, without the swear dance, the rice won't grow and people won't get married. Unit four. Page forty-three. Communication. Activity three. Now, listen to Nick giving a presentation on table manners in Britain, and check your answers. In the UK, we eat around the dining table. We follow lots of table manners. Firstly, 
we use cutlery. You know, knives, forks, and spoons to eat most of the food. We hold the fork in the left hand and the knife in the right. You should hold the handle of the knife in your palm, and your fork in the other hand with the prongs pointing downwards. There is also a spoon and a fork for dessert. When you finish eating, you should place your knife and fork with the prongs upwards on your plate. Secondly, you should never use your own cutlery to take more food from the serving dish. Use the serving spoon. Now, if there's bread on the table, you can use your hands to take a piece. Then, break off a small piece of bread and butter it. Thirdly, if you are a guest, you have to wait until the host or hostess starts eating, and you should ask another person to pass the food. Next, never chew with your mouth open, and don't talk with food in your mouth.